Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the Eleven Mod, and also welcome to part two of the video I put out yesterday where I had a whole fleet of Discovery Class Scouts go up against a Dederix that I was in control of, and well, if you didn't see that video, you should go watch it because it was, I mean, I, I guess it ended the way you would expect, but it was still a lot of fun. And now we are doing the exact reverse. We have our 32 Discovery Class Scouts, not to be confused with the USS Discovery, which I believe is actually a crossfield class, though I haven't actually watched Discovery. Um... But that's another story. So these are from the Enterprise era, and I'm taking these against Wanted Eretix again, except this time I have the fleet of scouts. And I think that we can win this because the AI is controlling the Warbird, and the AI tends to be not the uh, most challenging adversary. Okay, we are in command of all four wings of vessels. Let's go nice and up close and personal. But not too close. I've noticed these vessels, like the other ones, or not like the other ones, but like some other ships, have issues where at long distances they'll fire their, their phase cannons and their energy weapons, but close up, they only launch torpedoes. Tends to happen with smaller ships a lot. And we have already taken their shields down by about a fourth or third. And in comes the rain of torpedoes. Oh yeah, we can win this. So far, I don't think they've destroyed one Discovery Class Scout. There are just too many of us for them to focus on one target. Because we're all shooting, and the AI in Star Trek Legacy really attacks the last thing to shoot at. And all of the ships are shooting at the same time. So it's, it's just hopeless. The only issue I think is going to be when this thing explodes, it might take out the entire fleet, unless I, I move them around. Am I still in control of all? Course laid in. No. Okay, let's have this guy go here. I'm gonna warp out a little bit, and then warp back in. I kept it. Warp speed ahead. Nebraska, standing by. Not warp back in. I'll impulse back in. That way, maybe some of my ships will use their beam weapons. If they're far enough. Also, to give us all a. Jeez, what the heck is exploding? It'll give us a chance to reload all of our torpedoes and launch them all at once. Okay, there we go. There's there's some beam weapons happening. My weapon systems are damaged, that's why I'm not able to, to fire yet. I might want to repair those. Launching torpedo. Okay, there wasn't that much gained by that warping away tactic, as I had hoped. They are at half hull strength. Now maybe if we were fighting a fleet of warbirds, then we'd be in trouble. But as things stand right now, we're in no danger. 
the fleet overall is in no danger. We may lose a few more ships. But I don't think we can lose the battle. Oh, my weapons are repaired. And they said their sensors are out. Let's get them back. About two thirds destroyed. They could explode any time now. And I do not want to be right next to them because the Dederdix is one of the larger vessels in Star Trek Legacy, which means that its explosion is also very large, and the explosions in this game are overpowered with the Ultimate Universe uh, 2.2 mod. Like, if, if Star Trek's explosions in, in the show were as deadly as these, I think the Dominion War would have been over before it begun. Because you're in, you're in a tightly knit fleet, and you lose one Miranda class, and then boom! Everyone's dead. That being said, it does add a new challenge. A new challenging aspect to these battles. Is keeping your distance. So as soon as that thing goes critical, I'm gonna warp all my fleets in random directions and try to avoid getting wiped out by that blast wave. Because these guys have no shields. Nothing to protect them. As a matter of fact, let's warp away one group now. And another group. And another group. Who's left? It's just these guys. Alright, let's warp this way. Can we not be here? Can we be somewhere else other than right here? Oh, come on. Looks like, I, th I think we lost a ship, or it lost a few uh, nacelles, I'm not sure. I heard something explode that wasn't the Romulans, but we did not lose any of our command vessels. That battle took just under seven minutes, and we were successful in destroying the Dederix Warbird. I did not do it, but one of my AI-controlled allies did. That's why it's not showing up here. If you guys enjoyed the battle, well, then please be sure to leave the video a like, and if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well, then please subscribe, because there's always more Star Trek legacy on this channel if for whatever reason however you guys did not enjoy the video I do apologize for that and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when you watch them and if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario like this one, well then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that, and I will read through all of your various suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use your recommendations in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.